No, let's look at another option. You could use something called Sortero Bib. It quickly creates your in-text citation and your bibliography. It's a quick method of doing it, but it still creates the reference style you want. So what you to do is open up your browser for me. And type in there for me, Sortero Bib, all one word, and select the enter key. And there it is at the top, select it for me. You can use this in Microsoft Word and Google Docs if you want as well. If you like this, just add it to your favourites at the top there so you can access that later. First thing you need you to do before you even start is come down here and select the drop down list there. If your reference style is not there, select 10,000 reference styles and look for the one you're after. I'm going to put Cite Them Right, 11th edition. I do want et al as well with it, so I do want multiple authors, so I'm going to select add. And it tells you how it's going to reference it. And you can select OK, I'll edit them. Now I'm ready to go. So I'm going to go online and do a search. Let's go Google Scholar again. But you can use this anywhere you want, as long as you can copy the link. And let's type something in there. Let's go with, let's just pop South America in there, see what we get. So you'll be going through it all and you'll be opening up various sources and reading it. So I'm just going to open up Central South America. And we'll scroll down. And you might look at this to go, actually, I think I might use this in my work. So come to the top, tap on the link once at the top, Control C. Go back to Soltero Bib and paste it in there. Now, can you see where you can paste in websites? ISBN, which is for books and DOI for journals and so on. And you can even type titles in there. So, Control V. And now I'm going to select the site button. See underneath, it's found a source for me, but I always double check that. And it's got my bibliography. I want to use the site then write Harvard. I've got it underneath here. I don't want this one. Get rid of that. So now I've got my bibliography. But if you come to the right and select the little option here, you can then see how you want your in-text citation to be. So if it's a book, you'd have the page number in there. It's a DOI number, so it's a journal. So we don't need to add that. You can even admit author if you don't want that as well. And select copy citation. Now, I've copied the citation. Now, you can just decide whether you want to put it in Google Docs or Microsoft Word. Let's open up Google Docs first, pop it in there to give you an example. And add a blank document. So, I actually need something to cite. So, I'm going to go back to Central South America. I'm going to copy a bit of that abstract. Control C. And I'm going to paste that into Google Docs. Control V. Now I'm ready to cite it. So remember, I've got my sources in Sotero Bib. There's my bibliography. I can copy that and export it. If I click the little option on here, you can actually take the sources from here and import them into Sotero, EndNote, for example, and Mendeley. So there's multiple options. So again, click on the source here, just as well before you do import it just to check it's correct so you can go through that bit by bit just to make sure everything in there looks correct before you cite it select done tap on it again i'm going to copy the in-text citation and i'm now going to paste that into google docs at the end there Control v there's my in-text citation so once you've done all your in-text citations you need your bibliography Especially with Harvard, it has to be in alphabetical order, but I think with most references, it does, unless it's footnoting, I believe, but I'm not 100% sure about that. Now I need to get the reference here, and there it is. Copy to clipboard. Go back to Google Docs and Control V. And there's your reference at the bottom. So that's an easiest method. You can do exactly the same thing in Microsoft Word. So you can work across two word processes with that option.